This is Ian from In 30 Minutes Guides. Today I'm going to show you how to add a logo to every single slide in your presentation in Google Slides. If this video helps, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. So I have this presentation. You can see it's kind of long. There's like 30 or 40 slides. I want to add my logo to every single slide in this presentation, starting with the title slide. Here's how to do it. What you need to do is you need to edit the theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Slide. I'm going to go to Edit Theme and this kind of this weird view pops up. The background turns black and you can see the different types of uh, slides that I use in the presentation, different colors and things. Some of them I may not even be using this, like I'm not using this type of slide anywhere, but it gives me the option of editing that type of slide if I decide to use it. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna to go to the very top level slide in the theme editor and what I wanna do is I want to add the logo to this page and what will happen is when I add the logo to the master slide, it will carry out, it will carry through to every single slide type in the presentation. And it should appear in the presentation itself when I close the theme editor. So I'm going to select the main slide or the master slide in this theme. I'm going to go to insert image and then I'm going to select upload from computer. And by the way, you can be doing this in any type of uh, PC or Mac or e I believe even Chromebooks as long as you can save files to the hard drive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out an image from the hard drive. It's this one right here, clock icon. And it just appeared everywhere. And, it, and you can see actually on every single type of slide, it appears and it's right in the middle. Yes, I want the image. I don't want it this big. So I'm going to shrink this just by grabbing the corner and then just kind of pulling it to the right there, it scales down. Be sure to grab the corner, the blue one, uh, sorry, the, the corner little blue square, because that way it will basically scale it up properly. If you do something like grab the middle ones, it will elongate it, which is, not, you don't want that. So I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller and I'm gonna place this in the, I guess the upper right corner, okay? so. I can see in the theme editor, it's appearing everywhere. That's fine. So I'm going to close out of this with my new logo. And you can see it's appearing everywhere. Now one place it's not appearing is here. And I have I have a feeling what's happening is actually is there. You just can't see it because this title box is too big. And sure enough, when I bring this down, oh, it's not there either. Okay. So I'd have to look around and see what's going on there. I think what's probably happening is there's some other sort of box or background here, and it's basically obscuring it. But you can see that it appeared on every single one. And this is a lot easier having it just appear on every single slide than having to, um, you know, manually go through on each one of the 40 slides and add the logo in the exact same position. So again, use the theme editor, go to slide, edit theme. Go to the master slide and then add it there. And and actually let's while we're there, I don't I don't know where the I don't know why it's not appearing on that page, but maybe what I can do is make an exception for the title page and add a logo right there. So I'm gonna do the same thing again. Insert image, upload from computer, clock icon, open, shrink it down. And I think it was kind of like up roughly about here. And maybe I have to do some other things to, you know, make sure the title doesn't interfere with it. But I think that looks good. I'm going to click out of it. And it's on the front there on every other slide as well. And maybe what I can do is just tweak this positioning a little bit uh, later on so it matches the other slides. If this video helped you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. And also, if you go to in30minutes.com, that's our official website. Seek out the book Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes. It covers Google Slides as well, as well as Google Forms and other services that Google offers to let you kind of live your electronic life. This is Ian signing off. Thank you so much for watching.